it's a full on bit of a blur this morning or near the afternoon. So I said I'm going live with Jack Whitehall to make a burger, so, or an ultimate burger for charity. I've got the Elthoros is heating up beautifully. Everything is sort of ready. Um, I mean, I just, it's probably gonna go terribly wrong, but it is for charity, so who cares? I'm not sure how I've got myself into this, but uh, I'm now having a um, a burger cooking challenge with Jack Whitehall on Instagram. Um, so I'm about to make a burger. Not actually the best chef in the world. Um, I know what you're going to think. I don't know how how I ever thought I was going to be able to do this, but I think it's more about just having a bit of a chat. I think we're all raising money for charity. Or Jack White was getting paid. I can't remember. I can't remember why we're doing it, but I think it's definitely for charity. And every bit of money goes to somebody. I think it might be NHS, but I'm not entirely sure. But whoever it is, it's going to be a great cause. So I'm going to make my very best burger recipe. What could possibly go wrong? There you have all your charcoal sorted out. Now all I've got to do is wait until it heats up to the correct temperature, get the burgers on, and we're ready for cooking action. We're about to go live. It's going to be so exciting. Chloe's got to do a whole podcasting as well, so she's going to love the fact that I'm gobbing off in here as well. So I'm going to have to try to keep it... Uh, keep up to the outside so she doesn't get upset he's not live yet what's happening scary um burgers all prepped barbecues on everything's sort of ready no stress no panic uh and we'll see how we go i think i've got everything done like burgers bacon cheese brioche hot sauce basically all the foundations you need for a really good burger. Hey! Here it is. I'm going to be making a fish burger today because I've just eaten so much meat. Don't look at me like that. Things, I'm one of those people who always get all the gear and no ideas. We now have oh my an God. indoor barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> that is perfectly normal. Nothing to see here. The side of my face is going to melt sitting next to this barbecue. <laughs> have you got a meat thermometer? <laughs> yeah. Well, haven't we all? Such a bad, this is such a bad idea. We're what now. Have you done? Well, it's really smoking, so the house is now going to stink of bacon. Oh dear God! What was I thinking doing this? We've got a fire in the kitchen. Oh my here. God, James! <laughs> no! We're layering the three three bits of bacon on top. Like, Chipotle yeah. hot sauce on. Ready? Crowd. Okay. Start. Okay. Engage. Good food. Engage. Ah. This is unbelievable. See ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Don't do that at home. You should definitely not carry a barbecue into your kitchen. This is what we created. A bacon double cheeseburger, or there's no double to it. It's just a load of bacon, a load of cheese, but not a bad effort. I'm not sure it's going to win any awards, but quite tasty. Quite tasty, sir. How was your conference? Good. Eating my display burgers from Jack Whitehall. I like it. It was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so we basically just having a chill one today. I've got to train. Yeah, Chloe's going to go and train. I can't train because I'm doing a blood test. So What's your blood test? My blood test is for creatine kinase levels and general blood test levels to see how I'm recovering, levels of stuff in my blood, um, health-wise, just to get everything checked. Always the uh, professional's choice. Got to do that, you know what I'm saying? I oh, well, I won't get close up. Having a good time? Very bloated. I, I can't train today because I'm doing the blood test, but otherwise I'm going to join you, but I'm back on it tomorrow. What's your blood test for? Uh, I told you, creatine kinase uh, uh, and all that stuff. Yes. Um, Barkers? Barkers. I'm, I'm going to um, put the barbecue on to cook some of those fresh burgers. Would you like one? Yeah. I think you should, can I just have a little bit of a, a thought on the burgers? Yeah. They're very thick. Yeah. Either be careful not to overcook them, yeah. or cut them in half. Yeah, I'm going to make thinner patties. I'm just going to get the barbecue on and just check, yeah? See you later. Oh, wait, hang on. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Wrap that up. Wrap that up. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to go and do thinner patties for Gordon Ramsay. Jeff Ramsay over here, telling me how to do stuff. But yeah, should be quite nice. We're going round two now, because Chloe wants the... 
the uh, burger I cooked for Jack Whitehall's food slap thing. So we're just gonna fire up the thing again. It's called a loft lighter, it's quite useful. We'll watch the magic. Great for starting barbecues. So I've made the patties, we're using the same ones we use with Jack Whitehall. We're gonna have cheeseburger. Chloe's got upset because I ate her rubbery American cheese. But I, all the cheese I saw, but there's more cheese. So we should be fine. Bacon cheeseburger's gonna have. I know the American cheese is yours. Yeah. Well we'll get it we'll get it sorted. Yeah, now look. No no accelerants, this is proper charcoal, this. Proper lumpy wood lump, whatever it's called, charcoal. So you can see me do the cheek up cheek hole? I've done the charcoal. And I'm just gonna get scrub all that metal now it's heated up. Keep everything clean. Smoke too much. I mean, admittedly, I actually did barbecue in the kitchen today with this barbecue, which is probably one of the stupidest things I've ever done. And no doubt someone's gonna criticize me and say, it's so dangerous, encouraging people to do it. I was like, I'm not, I just couldn't do it any other way. And the thing with the Thoros is it's actually quite, quite small and quite simple to use. Um, it's a little bit more difficult, I think, to use in the Traeger, to be honest with you, just because of, um, Fact, trying to get charcoal right, make sure it's at the right temperature, and it's all it's all ready to go before you get there. But I'll show you. I'll show you now. So there we are. It's all been cleaned. We've got all my little things getting all the difficult bits out. I've got the burger patties. Yes, they're not appetising, but they will be once we've cooked and finished them all off. Chloe's kind of the queen of putting all the stuff together. I just heat it up and cook it all to temperature. That's kind of my secret to cooking is doing everything to temperature. I think uh, a lot of people do stuff by time, but you kind of get the perfect flavours by just timing it right. So it's cooked all the way through, but cooked exactly how you like it. So for a burger, it's 71 degrees internal temperature or 65 if you kind of want a medium rare and you're comfortable with where you've got your meat from. So it's at temperature now, so we can put the uh, the patties on. And crisp up the bacon. They're a lot thinner than the ones I did with the, for Jack's charity cook-off because, I don't know, Chloe, I wasn't being supervised and Chloe suggested making them thinner. So that is what I've done. I think I probably should finally chop the onions a bit better as well, but who cares? So there we have it. So they're going to be, hopefully, pretty good. Um, I'll give you a little show. There we are. I know the onions don't look that appetising, but it will be quite nice, I can assure you. Let's wait and see, shall we? So the burgers have all been cooked, the two of them have been taken inside, just crisping up the last bit of bacon and everything should be ready while Chloe puts everything together. How's the actual chef going on in here? Wow! Look at them, and margaritas. I'm not supposed to be drinking but, you know, margaritas and stuff is fine. The Rock drinks tequila so I can too. Okay. Chloe dressed it. I cooked it. I have literally just trained. I do not want to be on camera. Oh my god. It's unbelievable. Mm, I like that. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I mean about the mayo? Mm. It makes it moist. So, what do you put in there? Hot sauce and mayo. Hot sauce mayo. Yeah, hot sauce and mayo. Hot sauce mayo. I wish I'd had you earlier. I probably would have beaten Jack White all. But never mind. Why didn't you eat it? Well, I don't know where it's tomato and style. <laughs> Anyway, well, there you have it. That's how to make awesome homemade burgers. <laughs> I've literally just trained. And the last, any woman will tell you, the last thing you want to do after you train is be on camera. No, my one then. <laughs> if you saw episode one of Locked Up, you realise that my wife took the massive wee wee out of me by saying that I'm an old WI woman and that I have my um, Muller's fruit corners. I have Muller corners, but not the fruit one because I'm an adult. 
Is it uh, the same thing? No, they're not the same thing. Um, so I've just put flat out with the barbecuing tired. So I'm just going to treat myself to a banana, chocolate flakes, mulla yogurt, which I don't think is a problem. Chocolate flakes makes you more grown up. Yeah, chocolate flakes makes me much more grown up than, say, ooh, a gooseberry fool or a, a fruit corner or a black forest. How did you tell that they named the dessert after you? What, gooseberry fool? <laughs> Very amusing. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd clear that up because I, I tricked her last week because I went for a flake when she said I was going to have the... This is as exciting as lockdown gets. I'm tricking her with yoghurts. I probably should stop recording this shit now. I yeah, apologise. Uh, what? We are 8 o'clock, 5pm on a Sunday and we're drinking tequila, which is actually more fun mm. than when we're not in lockdown. Mm. <laughs> we have drunk more in lockdown. Actually, you know, you know what? We drink the most online Ibiza, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, but obviously we don't drink up more than often. Yeep. See you later. Obviously, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday is a free for all. Wow. And normally, yeah. I would say normally we we're lucky if we even drink one night a week. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I, I don't drink a lot. You're a bit of a. Oh, I'm such a lush. Bit of a, you know. Oh, if I can put it in to my two, calories. Two o'clock streaming. We've got round two of the burgers. We've done. We've run out of burger buns. So Chloe's made a burger bagel. Is it a new thing? Is it gonna be the latest? Craze, I don't know, but let's try it. Okay, bacon burgers, bacon ba burger bagels are the future. Don't believe me? Should we open the shop for uh, called burger bagels? Bagel burgers. Bagel burgers. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Okay. Watch this space. We need investors. If you want to invest, comment on this video. Yeah. That burger was sensational. We've actually got cut left over, and because I, I should have made, I should have got Chloe's help in the, the Jack Whitehall burgers. Because even though mine were nice, nowhere near as nice as Chloe's. So, messing them. But why? What's the difference? Because you had the salad, the tomato, the gherkins, the hot sauce. Oh yeah. yeah I just had the bacon good. cheese and a brioche bun. Um, oh, yeah, it's close to a McDonald's burger. And it? also it's washing it down with a margarita, Sunday margarita, Sunday night margarita before my DJ thing later. Are you DJing? Later? Yeah, I think so. Is that, are you gonna be all right? Yeah, of course. Right. Oh. When do I ever say no? When when, well, look, I have when the camera's not on you? No, that's not true. You do ask me every time, but you, I would never, you can always DJ, makes you happy. DJ Haskell? No, it's not my name, just James Haskell. Hello. Would you like a cup of tea? No, it's um, Tom Rose. <laughs> you heard that Okay. I'm just putting it on hold while I write this. Yeah, because I don't want to write it down. Okay. Keenan writing's not great, I don't think. No, I'm just, it's about me on hold and I know that it's writing pretty well. Unless. Unless it's melted, I think I'm going to have to. Oh dear. Pre-blend it. Like, unless you like Lord Byron, who was writing poetry on drugs and stuff, we're not about that, so you can't really. I'm leaving it for afterwards. Fine, we'll have it afterwards. My after treat, um... Tiger. The Shrine to Tiger King. Carol Baskin's a bitch. Just let everyone know that. I actually quite like Carol Baskin. Fuck Carol Baskin. She um, killed her husband. Yeah? Food. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what time are you DJing? Eight till nine. Okay, what time is your blood test tomorrow? Um, not sure yet. Because you know we've got to do that interview at three. Yeah. It's all go. It's non-stop round here. to be quiet but I'm just getting ready for my DJ set 8 to 9 p.m. Chloe's writing stuff I've just been practicing having a bit of fun um, had a cup of tea and some Welsh cakes that's my secret weapon um, other than that it's pretty much all that's going on today barbecuing Jack Whitehall cooking emails DJing no training for me because I've got blood tests but other than that just another day in lockdown, or locked up I should say.